Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we are here during EFA 2016 and we're going to be taking a look at the unboxing of the Huawei Nova Plus. So this here is a smartphone that was announced alongside the Nova and the Nova Plus is the higher end variant. So we'll be taking a look at the box contents and uh, the smartphone in detail to show you what you can expect when the smartphone goes on sale. So let's take a look at what's inside. So the box itself is pretty much basic and quite similar to the Huawei P9 that we saw recently. You have just the Huawei and Nova Plus branding here, not much else on the outside of the box. And that's nice since it actually leaves a bit of a mystery as to what you can find inside. So this here is the Midnight Silver variant as you can see here. It also uh, comes with some of the other information regarding where it's made. It's made in China as well as the website. So. Let's just open it up and take a look at what's inside. So here we have the Nova Plus itself. This is the Midnight Silver variant. So it's actually silver as well as white in terms of the color. So up front you have it in white and it looks pretty good actually. It looks even better than what we saw directly on the show floor and it fits really well in the hand. So let's just set that aside for now and take a look at what else is inside the box. Aside from that, you get three different boxes. So let's start with this one. This seems to be the one that has the SIM card ejector tool and you also should be getting some documentation. In this case, there's no documentation probably because this is a review unit, but in the final version, you should most definitely be getting some documentation as well. Aside from that, you also get the charger here. In this case, it's a two pin charger which is meant for Europe as well as India and this has an output of 2 ampere at 5 volts. So it's pretty compact in terms of the actual size and it's much similar to the one you get with the Huawei P9 itself. Uh, it's compact but supposed to amp charging as well. And finally you have a pair of earphones, this two are in white and it seems to be similar to Apple earpods in terms of the actual design and construction. You have the left and right markings as well as the cutouts for the speaker uh, over here and you even get a USB Type-C cable. So this phone actually has a Type-C port and that's why you get a Type-C cable along with it. So this here is the Nova Plus and it looks really really good and feels great in the hand especially due to its 5.5 inch size that is quite compact thanks to the bezels. Up front you have a 5.5 inch Full HD display with 2.5D curved glass. You get the earpiece here, the ambient light and proximity sensors, there's a notification LED somewhere here and you also get an 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture. Below you have the Huawei branding which has a nice silver sort of chromish finish and the navigation keys will be on screen. So let's just actually boot it up before we proceed to the rest of the hardware. At the right side you have the power switch over here. It has a slightly grooved design and it feels different from the volume rocker key which is actually smooth. So in case you're wondering which is the key, you can just feel it to know which key you're about to press. At the bottom you have the USB Type-C port. You have the loudspeaker over here and you also have a dummy speaker grill over here which actually houses the, sec and the primary microphone. The left side you have the hybrid SIM card slot. So this device supports uh, two nano SIM cards or it can take a nano SIM card as well as a micro SD card. At the top you have the secondary microphone and the 3.5mm audio jack. Now moving over to the back, this is where you have the primary 13 megapixel camera. It has face detection, autofocus, optical image stabilization as well as a dual tone LED flash. You also get a fingerprint sensor here which is a tap to unlock fingerprint sensor and it has an inner chamfered edge. The shape is actually quite a mix between the Huawei P9 as well as the Nexus 6P since it's not completely round nor is it rectangular. On the P9 you had a rectangular uh, or a squarish sort of uh, fingerprint sensor with rounded corners while on the Nexus 6P it was completely circular. This seems like a hybrid between the two and it actually feels really good to use. At the top and bottom you have the cutouts for the antenna to facilitate for better reception be it uh, cellular or wireless and you also have the Huawei branding at the bottom. So we'll be setting this up and showing you a quick look through the software. So we have the Huawei Nova Plus all booted up over here and it actually looks really good. We love the display, especially considering the price point, the display seems to be quite elegant and looks really good. So this smartphone is powered by a Snapdragon 625 octa-core chipset and it has 3GB of RAM as well. So let's head into the about phone to find out what software version is running. So as you can see here, it's running on Android version 6.0 
with EMUI version 4.1 on top of it. Uh, there's the octa-core processor which is clocked in at 2 GHz, 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage out of which 22.57 GB is available upon boot. It's currently running uh, the 1st July 2016 Android security patch level but we should be able to get an update pretty soon. So when you head into our update, let's see if it's running the current version or whether there's a newer version available. So this is actually the latest version available as of now. So that's pretty good. But once the commercial rollout starts off, I think we will get a newer firmware version. So let's actually enroll a brand new fingerprint now. So let's go to the new fingerprint. So as you can see, there's a fingerprint sensor at the back. So I'm just going to start tapping. That's actually really fast. It just took a few seconds to enroll the first finger. So let me try the same thing with, say, my left hand. So I'm going to be tapping on the sensor again. And that's done too. So let's try and see whether this is an always-on sensor or one that you require to unlock. So it is an always-on sensor, so you don't even have to press the power key. So you can do it that way, so I'm first uh, waking up the device and then pressing the fingerprint sensor or I can just directly tap the fingerprint sensor to unlock it and it even seems quite accurate in terms of detecting it so far it's not actually missed a single detection everything is unlocking and the good thing about the fingerprint sensor on Huawei smartphones is that it can actually do several other functions as you can see here you can use the viewfinder to touch and hold the fingerprint sensor and take a photo or a video you can use it for calls stopping alarm etc you can even use it for stuff like browsing photos or notification panel for example i want to bring down notification panel all i have to do is swipe down and if i want to bring it back up just swipe up or I can even clear this by double tapping it and clear it and go back up. So that's a pretty neat feature of the fingerprint sensor on the Nova Plus as well as other Huawei smartphones. So this here is a pretty decent device, especially at the price. It comes for around uh, US dollar 449, I believe, and 420 euros, which is around rupees. 32,000 so we don't know the exact price when it's going to be launching in India but that is the approximate pricing as per the pricing currently offered by Huawei for the Nova Plus. The smartphone seems quite good and we'll be doing a full detailed review about the same in the near future so do stay tuned for that. And that's it for the unboxing and first impression guys if you like this video do hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.